This video presents different options available for text and auto text label pointers. Let's open the default label settings dialog. Choose the text auto text label and go to the pointer panel. Here we can see three button groups that allow us to set the pointer line position and length. The first button group defines the pointer line connection method. Here you can choose either connect pointer to label box, connect label to first row, or connect label to last row. The second button group changes according to the selected connection method. However, here it lets us use the upper pointer line connection, middle pointer line connection, or bottom pointer line connection alignment. Finally, you can underline or not underline previously selected elements with the pointer line. Please note that if you choose either the first or last row connection method with the middle pointer line connection, then the underlining option will be grayed out. Now let's put all these options into practice. To do this, we'll activate the first option in each group and press the OK button to apply changes and close this dialog. Then let's place a label for the structural element. In order not to open the label settings dialog every time, we will use the info box, in which you can find all the previously described pointer line controls as well. Let's select the recently placed label and set the pointer line connection to the middle and to the bottom of the label text. As you can see, the pointer line remains in place and the text box moves relative to the anchor point. Now let's apply connection to first row and connection to last row options. Finally, let's try the underlining feature. Please note that when placing the pointer line relative to a text block rather than in its rows, it is important to consider the number of lines as if this number is odd. The middle line might be crossed out by the pointer line. 